New Insights into Preeclampsia Advancing from Vascular Health Challenges to Early Diagnosis Preeclampsia is a serious condition that affects up to 8% of pregnancies, leading to high blood pressure and organ damage. It poses significant risks for both mother and baby, yet its underlying causes have been poorly understood, making early diagnosis and effective treatment challenging. Recent research, led by Dr. Philippe von Rieken, a European registered toxicologist at Maastricht University Medical Center, has identified a key biochemical factor involved in preeclampsia, methylglyoxal, or MGO for short. MGO is a reactive byproduct of glucose metabolism. This discovery opens the door to earlier diagnosis and potential new treatments, offering hope for safer pregnancies. In preeclampsia, the placenta does not develop properly, leading to poor blood flow and reduced oxygen supply. Dr. Van Rieken found that this lack of oxygen boosts glucose metabolism, which in turn increases MGO production. High levels of MGO lead to the formation of harmful molecules known as advanced glycation end products or ages. These ages accumulate in the placenta and are released into the maternal circulation where they disrupt blood vessel function, contributing to severe vascular complications. A key aspect of this research is the use of state-of-the-art mass spectrometry technology to detect and quantify a comprehensive panel of compounds, including MGO and AGES, with high precision. This advanced analysis not only sheds light on the biochemical changes in preeclampsia, but also has broader applications including screening for similar vascular issues and diseases such as diabetes. Dr. Van Rieken's team also discovered that the enzyme GLOW-1, which helps detoxify MGO, is less active in preeclampsia. This diminished GLOW-1 function further exacerbates MGO accumulation, increasing vascular damage in the mother. These findings provide critical insights into the interplay between reduced oxygen supply, impaired detoxification pathways, and the resulting vascular dysfunction observed in preeclampsia. Next, the team tested two potential treatments, quercetin, a plant-derived antioxidant, and MitoQ, a mitochondria-targeted compound. In lab experiments, quercetin lowered MGO levels in placental cells, while MitoQ protected maternal blood vessels from MGO-induced dysfunction and damage. These results suggest that targeting MGO could not only protect both mother and baby during pregnancy, but also reduce the risk of long-term vascular complications for mothers after childbirth. A highlight of the study is the identification of early biomarkers. The researchers demonstrated that MGO-derived ages can be detected in maternal blood as early as 12 weeks into pregnancy, before any preeclampsia symptoms appear. This breakthrough could allow healthcare providers to identify high-risk pregnancies much earlier, enabling timely interventions and better management. Dr. Van Rieken's research provides a new understanding of the biochemical causes of preeclampsia and proposes innovative approaches for early diagnosis and treatment. By targeting maternal vascular health and utilizing state-of-the-art mass spectrometry, this work sets the stage for groundbreaking therapies and highlights potential applications in other vascular diseases such as diabetes.